Namaste. Welcome to a Hatha yoga class. Excited that you're going to be joining me on the mat today. So let's begin right away. Come standing at the front of your mat. Bring your hands into prayer pose in front of your heart. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And take a deep exhale through your mouth. Just keep breathing here in through the nose, out through the mouth. Make sure that our feet are just a little less than hip width apart, toes pointing straight forward. Tuck the tailbone under, open the chest, relax the arms, shoulders down. And bring the chin slightly to your chest. Let's take one breath together. Through the mouth, exhale. Just arriving here, let's begin with one collective ohm, inhaling. Oh. Inhale. Hold the breath just for a moment. Gently squeeze your root lock. And exhale. Take a moment just to drop in with your intention for your practice. And let's begin with some sun salutations. So inhale, reach the arms up into the sky, arch back, exhale, forward fold. Come all the way forward, drop your head, Take your elbows in either hand and let your whole upper body be heavy. And breathe here. And just play around with where your weight is on the feet and moving your knees to a straight position. Let your head be fully heavy here, relaxed. And just take some long, deep breaths. Starting to let the upper body hang deeper and heavier, feeling the back of your legs get a nice stretch and breathe. Bend the knees gently, drop the hands to the floor, inhale, halfway lift, open your chest. And exhale, forward fold, bring your left foot all the way back, drop the knee untuck the toe and open the chest and let's breathe here a few breaths the knee is over the ankle hands are on the ground and our weight is forward feeling a nice deep stretch in the inside of our left hip breathe try and make sure that the spine is nice and long and let's bring the right foot back into a high plank pose high plank, tighten your core, breathe here, one deep breath, and slowly lower onto your knees, come down to your chest and chin, bring the elbows towards the body, and now let's slide forward into a cobra pose, come all the way up into cobra, we'll breathe here, two breaths, make sure the shoulders are away from the ears, open your chest, look up. And gracefully, let's come into our first downward facing dog. Pick the hips up into the sky. Feet are hip width apart. Hands are shoulder width apart. Fingers are spread out wide. And slowly begin to lower your chest down to the ground. Your knees can be slightly bent. And breathe, opening your armpits. And bringing your hips higher into the sky. Come onto your tippy toes and then push the hips back. Lower the feet down again. Straighten out the knees. One more deep breath together. Bring the left foot all the way through. Drop the right knee, untuck the toe. Open up your chest, breathe here. Two more breaths. 
now really feeling that opening in the right hip and the right inner groin and breathing. And right foot forward, forward fold. Breathe here, one deep breath. Next inhale, with a flat spine, come all the way up, reach your arms high into the sky, take a mini back bend, and exhale, Samastiti, hands in prayer in front of your chest, take a deep breath, exhale, let's do it again, other side, inhale up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, right foot back, drop the knee, untuck toe, Suspend the breath, left foot back, high plank. Exhale, come down. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, one big breath. Inhale, right foot forward. Drop the left knee, untuck the toe. Exhale, left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, come up. Stretch up, reach up, arch back. And exhale, Samastiti, hands at the chest. Inhale. Uh, inhale, come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot goes back. Drop the knee, untuck the toe, open your chest. Just hold the breath, right foot back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin come down. Keep the elbows in. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Samastiti. Right away, other side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, right foot back. Hold the breath, left foot back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, come down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, left foot. Inhale, come up. Exhale, samastiti. Take a deep breath in and out. One more round, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, left foot back. Hold the breath, right foot back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, right foot. Inhale, come up. Exhale, samastiti. Other side, inhale up, exhale down, inhale right foot, hold the breath left foot, exhale come down, inhale forward, exhale back, inhale right foot, exhale left foot, inhale come up. Samasiti. Take a deep breath. Big exhale. One more. Big inhale. Nice and tall. And biggest exhale. Again, inhale. Fill your lungs with the freshness. And as you exhale, just release any densities that might still be stored in the body. Let it all go. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up in the sky. Open your chest, drop your head back and take a mini back bend. Two breaths here. You can just wiggle the chest open, push the hips forward. And slowly swan dive down, chest leading, come all the way down. Good, if your hands touch the ground, take your pointer and your middle finger, wrap them around your big toe, grab your feet and pull Pull yourself down, keep the knees straight. If you can't touch the floor, again, grab either elbow, let your head be heavy, and breathe. Three long deep breaths. Go deeper than you have in this forward fold. So if you're holding the toes, pull yourself down. 
and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Release the toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Chest forward, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, drop the hands to the floor and jump back into a chaturanga. Slowly lower down and then inhale into upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Again, straighten out the knees. Just witness your position. Feet are hip width apart, hands are shoulder width apart. And we're bringing our head and chest slowly down to the ground. You can pulse a couple times. Look forward, bring your forearms to the ground. One forearm, then the other forearm. Elbows are shoulder width apart, the hands are together. And breathe here. Look forward, slowly walk your feet as close to the elbows as you can and breathe. Don't let yourself dump into the shoulders. Breathe here. If you wanna try and kick up for fun, you can. And let's all meet in downward facing dog again. Hope some of you tried it out at least. Breathe here. Good. Now we're going to pivot our right foot to be at 45 degrees. And then we're going to bring our left foot forward and come straight into a warrior one. Bring your arms up high in the sky. And breathe. So let's make sure our positioning is good here. Our heels are in one straight line. The back foot 45 degrees. Hips are squared forward. Our knee is over the ankle and our arms are up. Upper arms alongside the ear. Breathe here, breathe. There's an outer rotation in the left thigh here. So I don't want the knee to fall in, rather. Outer rotation, breathe. Take the arms, bring them behind your back. Open your chest, take the left foot, bring it to the edge of the mat. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, with control, slowly come down. Humble warrior. Bring your hands over your head, keep them interlaced and breathe. See, maybe you can bring your head down to the ground. Slowly pick yourself up. Keep the warrior one leg. Nice job. And come back into warrior one. And from warrior one, let's move into warrior two. So bring the back foot back about another half a foot. This time the back foot is at a 90 degree angle to the front foot. And the front heel is totally in the middle of the back arch. And now our hips are facing square to the long edge of the mat. <sighs> Relax and hold the pose. Gaze fiercely over your front fingertips. Let's take a sun warrior, bring our right hand back, left arm up into the sky, open your chest. And come back. Straighten your front leg. Take a break for a second. Deep breath. As you exhale, come back into warrior two. Take your left hand, place it on your left thigh and then swing your arm around, extended side angle pose. Open up your chest to the side. The upper arm is alongside the ear. Fingertips stretched. If you have a bind, you can take your bind which is taking your left shoulder underneath the left thigh and going to grab your right wrist or your right hand and pull your chest open to the sky, breathe. Make sure your knee is still bent, not collapsing to either side, the back foot is planted and breathe, two long deep breaths. Slow. 
slowly. If you have the bind, break it. Come strong into a warrior two. Ah, straighten it, relax. Bring the back foot forward. Now we're taking the warrior one position of the feet again. Heels in one straight line. We're gonna move into triangle pose. So look forward at your front fingertips. Stretch forward, stretch forward, stretch forward. And then hinge at the hips. Open up your chest. Stretch the fingers high into the sky, breathe. Keep both feet planted. You should feel a nice stretch along the right side of your body, breathe. Don't put too much weight on the left calf. You're really just touching the foot. There's so much force pulling you into the sky, breathe. One more big breath, inhale, exhale. Slowly come up. Good. Take your hands down. Face your hips forward. Take your right hand, stretch it out, and gently bring it all the way. If you can place it on the left side of your left foot, that's perfect. If not, just place it on your ankle. And we're going to do a revolved triangle pose, bringing our left hand up in the sky, opening the chest. Breathe. This one's a little bit tricky. So do your best to keep balanced. One more breath. Slowly square your body over your left foot and lower your body down, getting a nice stretch along the back side of the left leg. Breathe here. If you can't touch the floor, just place it on your shin and bend over. Your hips are fully squared. So for many of you, you have to bring your right hip forward. Breathe. Feel that nice stretch along the back of our left leg. Look forward, bend the left knee, bring the hands forward and pop that right foot off the ground. If this is challenging, you stay here and balance. Try and straighten the spine. If you want to come into a um, half moon pose, you can. So you're opening up the right hip to the sky. Oops. Bringing your right hand into the sky, opening your chest and breathe. If you want to go for the grab of your right ankle, you can. Breathe and open. Do your best to balance. Great, slowly break the pose. Square your hips and bring the right foot all the way to the back of your mat into a high lunge. Drop your right knee, and we're gonna come into lizard pose. So we're gonna bring our left foot to the edge of the mat. Good work, everyone. And then if this is your position, you stay here. If you wanna go deeper, you can come onto your forearms. Try and keep the left foot fully planted on the ground. Try and keep your spine long, breathe. If you want to play with this pose a little, you can come onto your hands again, place the right hand on the, on the edge of the mat and just take your left hand and open this up. Now you can take that left foot off the ground and just open up. If you want to go even deeper, look behind you and grab your right foot with your left hand and open up your chest, breathe. to center and bring your right left foot back into a high plank good slowly lower down chaturanga nice and strong inhale up dog exhale down dog breathe here Hi. 
Raise your left foot in the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. Take a wild thing, drop that left foot behind you and pop your hips up, open your chest, breathe. And come back to a downward facing dog. Bring the right foot high into the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Ooh. And take a wild thing, drop the right foot back, pop the hips open, breathe. Come back to our downward facing dog. Good. Now we're gonna place the left foot 45 degrees, right foot forms forward, warrior one. Hands up, breathe. So the heels are in one straight line, arms are straight up, hugging the ears. There's an outer rotation in the right thigh, knees over the ankle and breathe. Nice strong legs. Hands come behind the body, interlace them, bring the right foot to the edge of the mat. Inhale, open your chest. And exhale, humble warrior, come all the way down. Breathe, let the arms come over the head and breathe. Working our way towards bringing the head down to the floor, breathe. Slowly come up, keep the warrior one legs. Good, straighten it out. Bring the foot back to the center. Bring the back foot a bit further back. Open up the arms and come into warrior two. Bend the knee down, knee over the ankle. Back foot is flat on the ground. Gaze over the right fingertips. Nice and strong, this position. Come a little bit deeper. And let's take a sun warrior. Bring the right hand up over the head. Open your side body. Come back to warrior two and straighten the knee. Take a little break. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Come down into warrior two again. Now place your forearm on your thigh and swing your left arm around. Extended side angle pose, breathe here. Make sure that your knee is over the ankle. And if you wanna take the bind, you take your right shoulder underneath the thigh, bring your arm around, catch your left wrist or just your hand, and then pull open, pull up to the sky. Chest is opening up to the sky, three long deep breaths. Slowly relax, come into warrior two, nice and strong. And straighten out the knee, good work. Bring the back foot forward, prepare for triangle pose. Stretch forward, stretch forward, stretch forward. And then hinge at the hips, bring the left hand high in the sky, pull yourself up, breathe. No weight is on the right leg. You're really pulling yourself up, 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 breathe. Feeling a nice stretch, especially right by the hip, all the way up through your side body of the left side. Slowly come up. Now square your body to the front. Revolve triangle pose, left hand forward, and slowly bring it down. If you can touch the floor on the right side of the right foot, put it down. If not, just lightly touch your right shin and then raise your right hand into the sky. Try and keep all lines of your body nice and long. Slowly bring that right hand down and bring your upper body over the right leg. Nice deep breath into this. 
I always encourage sounds in my classes. It's such a nice way to just move energy through your body, releasing anything. Look forward, curl your hands forward, bend your right knee and pop your left foot off the ground. If you wanna stay balancing here, stay here, find a drishti, so find a spot in front of you on the floor that's not moving and just keep your gaze there. Try and balance, do your best. Otherwise, come meet me in a half moon pose, opening up your left hip to the sky. And left hand high in the sky, open your chest, eventually looking up. If you wanna try and catch your left ankle, go for it. Three more long deep breaths in this pose, breathe. And slowly bring that left foot all the way back behind you. Drop the knee. Go ahead, bring the right foot to the edge of the mat, preparing for our lizard pose. If you want, you can take the back knee off the ground and just sway forward back a little bit. Get into that hip. And then take whatever variation is comfortable for you so the right foot stays planted. Maybe the forearms come down, maybe even your chest comes to the ground and you take a bind. Do your own yoga here. Mm. Yoga is all about just feeling our own selves and experiencing ourselves in new ways. Yoga means to unite, uniting with our essence. And there's so many layers of our essence so sometimes it's just easier to start with the physical body because that's tangible. So in the yoga, in the movement of yoga, we're feeling our body, we're feeling the stretch, we're becoming present with our own physical bodies. And then with our breath. And then, and then, and then the layers are deeper and deeper and it's such a beautiful journey. Slowly. Come up and we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. We're gonna pick up our back foot and with the right hand, we're gonna come back and try and grab it and open up the chest. Now let the right foot come just to the edge of the foot and open up that knee to the side, the right knee to the side. Open up, breathe. Beautiful, break the pose. Bring that right foot back to the center. Bring the right foot back, high plank, and very strong chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, breathe. I'm gonna give the invitation. If anyone wants to take a forearm balance, you can. If you wanna practice, same thing as we did at the beginning. Bring your forearms to the ground, hands together, elbows, shoulder width apart. Look forward and walk as close to the hands as you can. Keep lifted out of the shoulders, out of the elbows, don't dump down. And if you, can, if you wanna try, you can just try kicking up. If you have the full pose, go for it. Good, when you're done, just meet everyone in child's pose. Everyone sit up. And let's all meet in headstand. So go for it, take your headstand. If you don't have a headstand practice, then I will invite you to take a hair pose. Hair pose is you grab your heels, sitting on your heels, grab your heels, take your forehead, bring it to your knees, and then we're gonna roll. So watch. And then we're gonna pick up the hips off the, sh off the heels. And really from here, we're pushing forward. 
from our upper back. We're pushing forward, feeling a nice stretch and just breathe there. We'll be here for about 10 long deep breaths. If you have a headstand practice, come into it and drop into your meditative state. If you wanna take a lotus pose, you can take a lotus pose. And once you're there, just close your eyes and focus in between the eyebrows. Long, deep breathing. And let's all connect with the mantra OM. Mentally chant that mantra at your third eye center. With every breath feeding the vibration to open up our psychic abilities. Five more long deep breaths. If you finish, just meet us in a child's pose. Connect with the Om Mantra. When you're ready, slowly lower down and let's all meet in child's pose. Hands behind you, relax. Slowly come up, lay on your backs. And let's proceed to shoulder stand. We have three variations here. If you if you've never done a shoulder stand and not very comfortable doing it, I'm just gonna have you put your feet high in the sky. Otherwise, hands on the lower back, fingertips up, bring the feet up, 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 up. And if you wanna take a lotus pose here, you can take a lotus pose and breathe. Again, I'm gonna ask everyone to connect with their mantra, the OM and just pulse that vibration, the vibration of love itself at the space in between the eyebrows. And slowly lower into Halasana, plow pose, bringing the knees over, bring the feet behind the back, try and keep the legs straight if you were taking a normal shoulder stand. If you can touch the floor with your feet, keeping the legs straight, that's great. Do that and then push the heels back, toes towards the face. If you have a lotus pose, you can just bring the lotus legs down. Breathe here, everyone. For those of you in the plow pose, just bend your knees and let either knee bracket your head. Maybe your knees touch the floor on either side of the head. If you have the lotus, you can try and grab around the legs, binding your hands. And if you're just knees bent, try and also bind the hands around the legs, around the thighs and breathe.
And slowly, let's all roll ourselves flat onto our backs, nice and slow. And we're gonna come straight into fish pose. So chest up. Bring the elbows close together, palms down below the seat. And bring your head down if you have lotus feet. You can keep them in lotus if you have straight feet, just straighten them out, keep the feet together. If you have lotus, you can try and grab the feet and then bring the knees to the ground. Once we're all here, let's take Bashrika Pranayama. So in and out through the nose, very fast. Inhale, hold, and exhale. Relax your whole body onto the floor. Five long, deep breaths. Relax completely. Imagine you are going into the deepest rest of your life. feet towards the, sh uh, the seat, knees hip width, feet hip width. Two options, you can either take the bridge pose, so palms face down and start to just lift the hips up, or if you have a wheel pose, bring your hands to your ears, and let's all come up in this pose. Come up into the wheel or the bridge. If you're in the bridge, interlace your hands below your body. Bring your shoulders underneath your body and push the hips up. If you have a wheel pose, just try and open up your chest and straighten your legs and breathe. 10 deep, long, deep breaths for everyone. Slowly lower down and bring the knees into the chest and just sway from side to side, releasing that spine. Take a hold below your knees. Take a few nice rolls back and forth. Come up to seated pose. Once we're at seated pose, we're gonna take a twist. Straighten your left leg, bring your right leg over. You can either stay like this or bend the left leg around. Then you're gonna inhale, stretch the chest open, and then exhale, we're gonna twist to our right. Bring the right hand behind the body, left arm the left upper arm is really pushing against the knee to open your chest into a deeper twist here. So breathe. Once you're here, close your eyes and relax. With every inhale, you're lengthening your spine. And with every exhale, you're twisting more deeply, twisting, twisting, twisting. Slowly break this twist, and we're just gonna come the other way. So this time, well, our light, right leg could be straight, the left leg on top. And if you wanna bring the right foot just beside your butt cheek here, you can. Open your chest nice and tall. Twist to your left, twist, twist, twist. Hinge at your knee use that as an anchor and then push away bring the left hand behind the body and twist to your left breathe
close your eyes, return to your mantra OM. We're twisting over the left shoulder, twisting the spine. Focus in between your eyebrows, mentally OM. Exhale, twist even deeper. And then slowly return. Make your way. Lying down on your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Maybe you can hold either elbow. Bring your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead up to your knees. And I want everyone to squeeze as tight as they can. Squeeze their feet, their ankles, their shins, their calves, their knees, their thighs, their glutes, their bodies, their bellies, their chests, their shoulders, arms, hands, face. Squeeze everything for three. Squeeze as tight as you can. Two. Squeeze. And one. Exhale. Release everything. Feet mat width apart, arms to the side of the body with enough space to breathe from body to arm, palms face up, and breathe. Just tune in if there's anything else your body needs before coming into deep relaxation. Please, I invite you to take that. Otherwise, let's all meet in our final resting pose in Shavasana. Relax yourself completely, all parts of your body, from the tip of your toes, through your legs, your core, chest, arms, and head, everything completely relaxed. And now allow yourself the next five minutes to stay here and deeply surrender into this moment of rest. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.
Now